Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs from the Board of Studies portal. I am Sia Nocharuta. We are making an attempt to be putting every question of SCPM subject out to you all. Through the medium of MCQs, I bring out the concepts, I bring out the details, I bring out the practical examples. So therefore, you all start to be loving the business. This subject is all about your common sense. Half of this subject is something that you see in your daily life every now and then. And other half is whatever you need to be knowing for your future. Believe me, one day all the subjects that you all have in your uh, curriculum, most of them, I'll not say all, but subjects like FR, your DT, IDT, all of them will come under the automation mode. Okay. Uh, machines will take over the return filing, the reporting and everything. But one thing that will not come under the automation is the business part. Okay, business processes will come under the automation. Machines cannot do business. Every day things are changing and we all start to be thinking how to be creating a business which is more sustainable. Sustainable means something that will be lasting for a long period of time. And today companies are not only about earning profits. Okay, it's all about being earning profits, giving value to the customers, okay, sustaining in the long run, taking care of the environment, trying to introduce new products which will reduce the effect of the, the business on the planet also by not creating the pollution up and so on. Okay, that's what we are here about to be doing. Just before we start our this video two things you want to enroll for my complete course please see the description below and second join my telegram channel and the group okay and in case of any further doubts you can always write to us on a telegram id which is at the rate aj next let's start it off the question for today which one of the following statements best describes the term transformation in the context of technological advancements Okay, so there are four options. I like to read these four options after some time, but I'm explaining you three terms over here. Okay, first of them is automation. Automation means what? There was some task that was done by the human beings. Now that is being done by the machines. Okay, that's it. So therefore, it is nothing but automation. So automation involves replacement of the humans with technology without impacting organizational culture or business processes. Okay. Example, installing a passbook update kiosk in a bank or lounge. Now, this is one example like, you know, earlier, if you had a passbook, you want to update it, go to the bank. They were passbook writers. They will update you with the new transactions that have happened. Okay. Now that thing is gone. You have machines. Okay. You put your passbook in the machine. Automatically, updation will happen. Okay. So that is called as automation. Automation is basically trying to automate. Let machines do the job that the uh, human beings were doing first. Okay. That is one thing. Might be another small example, might be just a very small example. Earlier, say three, four hundred years ago, you want to put a nail in the wall. Okay. So take a hammer, take a nail, keep on banging. Okay. Now, slightly a automation or I'll say mechanization. Okay. Not automation also, but mechanization. Okay. Whereby the drill machines are used. So I'm giving you a new term also called as mechanization. Now, this Drilling a hole is not automation because there are still human beings that are involved. This is mechanization. So differentiate between the two things. In automation, human beings are completely going away and machines are taking over. Okay. But in case of mechanization, still the human effort is involved. Okay. Uh, this is automation. Then the second one is called as extension. Extension is what beta? Extension is doing like, you know, using the technology to perform new or extended tasks in the process that enhance the function or utility of a product. Example, when internet came around in say 1990s to 1995, first thing that got impacted, okay, was internet banking to transfer the money. You don't have to be going to the bank. You can do it online. But then an extension of that came in form of the mobile banking, okay, through mobile banking, through the OTPs up and so on. So many tasks that you all think today, like, you know, are being done in such an easy way. As compared to what it was, like, you know, I do remember when I had to be paying, say, my ICAI fees also, okay. So, what we had to be doing, this is not a very old story or something. 2002, I appeared for my CA final. 
Now, uh, around in Jan 2020, uh, Jan 2002, we had to fill up the forms. Okay, once we fill up the forms, now how to pay? There was no online transfer. So, therefore, at that time, what we had to be doing, you go to the bank. Okay, you ask the bank, please debit my bank account and issue me a demand draft in name of ICAI New Delhi. The Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, New Delhi. Okay, they will charge you for that also. Apart from like, you know, the amount of draft, they will charge you some something extra for giving you that. So try to be thinking from that time till what you all are doing today. Today, are you, have you all seen also demand draft? I think, I don't think so. Very few people have seen because from the time you all have become matured. Okay, I think it has become a norm like, you know, to be doing the uh, transactions through the mobile banking or through the net banking up and so on. Okay, so it is called as extension. Technology was there. But then new technology is helping you to perform new extended tasks. That is called as extension. Okay. So first thing that we learned was automation. Second thing that we are learning is extension. Last thing is transformation. This question is all about that. Involves the use of technology that not only revamps of products or services offered by an organization, but also transforms its processes and culture. Example, installing ATM machines across the towns and villages, introducing digital clearing systems, etc. Now, transformation is something overall the things are changing. Overall, everything has changed. Okay. Example, I have told this example uh, before also, the education system of India, pre-COVID and post-COVID, everything changed. I was running uh, four centers in Bombay. I was running around 40 centers across India. Okay. So, at that time, it was a normal kind of a thing. So whereby like, you know, the kids come to our class. Okay. We all take the admission. We all plan out the lectures. We give them the books. Okay. And then those guys like, you know, they all sit every day. The ACs, the rental, blah, 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 blah. Okay. They all tea, They all get taught. Okay. Batches get over. We have a farewell party. We go for a trek and it is all over. Okay. But then times changed. Okay. Today, how you, if you have enrolled for my complete course, okay, then you all will understand. Like all the lectures are permanently there with you. Okay. The online books are there with you. All the important information is there with you. Whenever any new lecture is launched, you get a notification also. Okay. How the education system has transformed from physical to this is transformation. Okay. Now, before I will go to those four options, which was about the transformation, one question I'm asking you, you all can try to comment below. Is it automation? Is it uh, extension? Is it transformation or it is mechanization? You answer me that. In my house, I always had a person who used to be coming and uh, cleaning our house. Okay. The dry and the wet mop, everything. But now I have a small machine called as Robo360. Okay. So I have the app on my phone. Okay. So if suppose I'm in studio, I want the house to be clean. I just press the button and it cleans that entire house. Okay. First it will be doing it dry and then it'll be doing it wet. Okay. So therefore the house is clean. Mostly we on it up in the night. Okay. And sometimes like, you know, it is this thing and I get up in the night. I get afraid also because I try to dash with it. Now is this kind of technology this is also technology only is this automation is this extension is this transformation or is this mechanization you all can put in the comment below i'll answer the question so those guys are told which of the following statement is correct about transformation okay uh one, two, three, four. See, let's read it down. It involves mere replacement of human beings with a technology focusing on revamping products and services. This is automation. Okay, this is not this. Second, it emphasizes the utilization of technology to extend and enhance task or process contributing to the overall utility of a product or service. We are enhancing the task. So therefore, this is extension. I'll read the fourth one. It refers to the mechanization of tasks through technology, emphasizing the complete revolution of an organization's uh, offering. It is not mechanization. Transformation is not only using machines or something. Okay. It is basically changing everything. I'll go over to point number three. Might describe it better. It includes the use of technology to completely overhaul not only the products and services, but also the processes and culture of an organization as seen examples like installing the ATMs, implementing a digital clearing system up and so on. I'll read it once more. It includes the use of technology to completely overhaul not only the products or services, 
but also the process and the culture of an organization as seen in examples like ATMs. Now when ATMs came, although now ATMs are outdated in India, like UPI has been such a damn big success that companies are actually not using only like the customers are not trying to withdraw the money only to be on. Especially those people who are in job, you know, okay, they hate ATMs now, okay, everywhere, like, you know, why to carry the physical money to a auto wala also we all pay through UPI are now. So basically how it like transformation is changing everything. It is changing the culture. It is changing everything, how everything behaves. Okay. So through these UPI systems, so many things that were there before are all gone. Like, you know, so many intermediate was there. Suppose like, you know, around say 20 years ago, I had to be giving the money to you. Okay. So therefore I go deposit the check in my bank account that bank will present the check. The other bank will be getting the check. Okay. Once that clearing system is over, then the other person will be getting the money after two or three days. And think if you have to now send money to your friend through UPI, it takes you five seconds maximum. Okay. So everything has changed. Process is this. This is real transformation. So answer should be three over here. That should be the correct answer. That's it. My job for today is done. If you like my content, please help me to reach out the correct audience for SCPM by sharing our uh, playlist on the groups of CA final that you all are part of. It gives me the encouragement that I'm doing good work for this entire subject. I'll see you all next time with another question. Till then, take care guys. Bye.